this starts off just like any other pinch pot, but we're gonna use our hands to squeeze and, and make a slapping motion onto our hands. And this is gonna elongate the pinch pot. So we're doing it just like normal, except adding a little squeeze in there and a slap against our hand, and that will make the pinch pot elongate. And this will be great for that bottom part of the shell. And then we'll make a similar pot for the top part of the shell. And join them together using the slip and score method. I found it nice to put a pointy end on both pinch pots for both ends of the shell. This shorter end that you see me making here with my thumbs and my fingers, this will be the top end where the spiral goes. Having a point there will make it a lot easier to make the spiral later on. You want to aggressively score it with a fork or any other sharp tool. I like to use the method where I score, paint it with water, and then score again and paint it with water again. This creates its own slip and it works really good for me, but notice how aggressively and deeply I scored it. That'll keep it together later on. You want to make sure you go ahead and do that. And then give it a twist and hit it with a popsicle stick. Then next, you're going to be drawing the spiral on there. I found that a good width is your thumb. But you can put them closer together or farther apart, but I just personally like the thumb width. And then about halfway or three quarters of the way down, we're going to draw a line straight down and then use a piece of wood or something else with a 90 degree corner on to lobe this shell out. It makes it nice and dent. And then we're gonna smooth it up with our fingers. The first pass you make with the stick, it might look a little rough, and that's totally normal. Every time I do this, it looks a little rough after the first pass. And you just smooth it up with your finger, it's gonna turn out awesome. Just, just trust the process, it will work. Next, on that line you drew earlier, you're gonna use your knife and you're gonna cut down. And on the concave side, you're gonna push it in. And the convex side, you pull it out. Most of the time, you need to put a knife in there to pull it out. And then you're gonna use that extra thickness of the pinch pot to thin it out. You're gonna pinch it and you can curl it back. Some shells are a little wavy on that part. Some of them are straight. You can make yours however you want. And then get in there with your finger and a paintbrush and clean up that seam, because that will be visible and um, then push the other side down back in. But make sure you clean up that seam first because after you push that side down in there, you can't get it. It's a good idea at this point to put them in the hot box for a little bit and let them stiffen up before you continue to smooth them out so they're not so slimy. Once they dry a little bit, you can go back and smooth them up with your finger. Just get them super smooth, take your time on them, really just enjoy the process and get them nice and smooth. A lot of shells have spikes and textures and other cool things. Let's take a look at these super awesome student works and see what everybody did on theirs. Check them out, they're awesome. Good job, you guys. I like to do this almost like a factory. I like to roll out a coil and then this helps me make equal size spikes and I just make them relatively the same size or in this case, I'm gonna make them in uh, kind of a descending order so they go from big to small. And uh, this really helps me get it going fast and keep them even. To assemble that spike, I'm gonna push the bottom in with my finger and use my other, my 
my uh, thumb and my forefinger to pinch it and roll it to make it into a spike. And then of course we're gonna score it, add water, score it again, add water, and this creates slip. And we're gonna do that on both sides, the shell and the spike. And then we're going to attach it and give it a little twist. And when you give it a little twist, you're gonna put a little water on your fingers and just twist back and forth. And this will just make it a nice, super good, smooth seal. And it'll look totally awesome. After it's stiffened up a little bit and you got all those spikes on, it's nice to do a little final cleanup with either your thumb or your finger just to get all the little bumps and imperfections out. You could also do it this time. Now that it's leather hard, would be a good time to carve it, any texture you wanted to add to it. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys that watched my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the viewer that requested this video. It was a good inspiration. It was really fun to do a video on this shell. I like making these. I appreciate if you left a comment. If you like this video, click the like button. It keeps me motivated to make more, and it lets YouTube know this is good content. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. See ya.